What's up? So last night I was reading about lists, building a list out and why it's so important to have a list, right? I came across this thing. eBay bought Skype for $2.6 billion. Facebook bought Instagram for $1 billion. I'm thinking like, logically, like why would they do something like that? I forgot. I think Skype had like 600,000 I think Skype had 600,000 people. I'm gonna have to look at the book again. Instagram had 30 million. Right? I have to look at the Skype number again. But think about this. Each eBay could have created its own Skype. It had like the best infrastructure, the best like engineers, computer engineers. They could have built their own Skype. You know what I mean? But then they wouldn't have access to these brand new 600,000 people. They would just be accessing eBay's list, right? So they bought the list. Facebook definitely could have built an Instagram. You know, they every time something comes out, I feel like Facebook adds it to the platform. Anyway, Facebook could have bought Instagram, but it wanted access to their 30 million members, to the 30 million new people that they didn't already have access to. So Facebook bought their list. Now they can, these 30 million people, they can buy ads, they can buy whatever else Facebook offers, which is ads, emails, whatever else they have, now they have access to 30 million people. It's closer to like, I think like 200 million now. I have to check my numbers. eBay bought access to the list, the new, the new people that they can now market to. Now they have this huge database, this list of new customers that they can market to over and over and over and over and over again for free. Facebook can market to the Instagram people for free. And the Instagram, a lot of them end up buying Facebook ads. I don't know what else eBay sells, maybe 600, maybe a, a fraction, a good amount of those 600,000 sell their stuff on eBay. Now eBay gets a cut of that. Or eBay had some back end things. But what they both did, they both ended up buying buying a list. The power of the list. It's crazy. So you gotta think about it in your own business. There's your own business. Are you collecting emails? Are you collecting Facebook messengers? Are you collecting some type of information from your customers before they buy from you? during the buying process or even after the purchase is made? Are you creating your list? Are you growing that list? Because one day, just imagine this, what if there was no more Facebook? How would you reach out to your customers? What if there was no more Instagram? How would you reach out to your customers? You'd have to rely on your list, your list of people. That's the asset that people buy, your subscribers, your members, your list. That's what people, that's what makes the, the business that you create so attractive. It is the products and all of that, but it's also who's buying, how many people are buying, how many people are subscribed, the list of people that you have. That's what makes it good. So keep this in mind when you're building your business.